Kalo talaga wala na masyadong news sa darating considering that it's the new year and there's still 9 months, 9-10 months before the UAAP. Pero iba na ngayon eh. News is 24-7 and there's always something going on when it comes to following our young favorite prospects. Anyway, this, so this past Saturday, it was reported by multiple outlets that top Pinoy's high school hoops prospect Jared Bahay of the Sacred Heart School of Ateneo de Cebu Magis Eagles haba, is re reconsidering his commitment to the UP Fighting Maroons. Just a few weeks ahead of gifting his alma mater their second three-peat in the 23rd season of the Cebu Schools Athletic Foundation Inc. or CESAFI. According to Tiebreaker Times, the specific reasons for backing out of the Fighting Maroons were not disclosed for obvious reasons. But that there is a supposed combination of academic factors, recent college basketball results, and even international offers have been considered by the Bahay camp. It's definitely a surprising development since many UAP basketball fans were already hunkering down for Bahay's eventual debut with UP and a star-studded lineup featuring Francis Lopez leading the charge Plus, head coach Goy Monteverde is still on the sidelines. With all of that context in mind, let's take a look at three possible teams where Mr. Jared Bahay could theoretically bring his talents to aside from UP Deleman. First off, let's start off with the UAP Season 86 champions, the De La Salle Green Archers. I consider them the dark horse actually. Taking into account the aforementioned recent college basketball results, the Green Archers are suddenly in play for the Magis Eagles standout as they'll be without an elite level guard due to the departures of backcourt stars in Evan Nelly and Mark Nonoy. Right there, there should be enough of a reason for Jared Bahay to consider moving to Taft as they would be left with Joshua David while the son of DLSU legend Mike Cortez, Jacob, remains a question mark no matter how uh, there are so much meme pages already saying that he's signed and delivered. That's not meant to be a slight or anything towards Joshua David or Jacob Cortez for that matter as David has proven his work to the Green Archers with his play this season towards winning the championship altogether while Cortez still has not shown any indication or at least any official publication that show that he will be leaving the San Beda Red Lions aside from admitting that he received some offers from other schools. If anything, it just points more towards how much of an impact of a big-time player like Bahay would be on the roster. Factor in the fact that eliminations and finals MVP Kevin Kiambao is returning for one more year despite interest in his talents coming from abroad. And it might be a foregone conclusion that the Green Archers are the favorites for season 87 easily. Next up, let's talk about the NU Bulldogs. Yes, you heard that right, the NU Bulldogs. It sounds like I'm just sharing whatever school I can think of, but there's a reason why they're on this list in the first place. The DLSU connection is almost a layup since they're the champions and would want to stack the deck in their favor. But for the Coach Jeff Napa-led squad, they would be more than happy to welcome Jared Bahay aboard. If the rumors are to be believed, lead guard Kian Baklaan may be leaving for quote-unquote greener pastures as well and with Mike Malonzo plus John Galenatos, college tenures coming to a close, that very much opens up the door for a superstar to come in and take charge, something that Jared Bahay can certainly do for NU. Add in the presences of season 86 rookie Reinhard Umamoy and the fan favorite in Steve Nash Enriquez. In the backcourt, supporting fourth year veteran Jake Figueroa's efforts in the front court, the Bulldogs certainly have a much better shot at improving their chances at going beyond a back to back third place finish for the Bulldogs. Finally, the elephant in the room, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Everyone knows it, I know it, and for sure, the Ateneo Blue Eagles know it. Much like forward Kai Balungay, the Blue Eagles have just recently lost season 86 lead point guard in Jared Brown to the allure of going pro. The connection and familiarity with Bahai are obviously there for the 12-time UAP champions. Fellow Magis Eagles in Rafi Celis and Michael Asoro spent their rookie seasons with Ateneo while Batang Gilas teammates Kyle Gamber and standout rookie Mason Amos have laid the foundation for a future with Jared Bahai in charge at point guard. Additionally, head coach Tab Baldwin even paid him the courtesy of watching the Sesafi Juniors finals and because we as fans just love making the connections. We're all wondering whether that was a recruitment trip or not. Knowing Coach Tab, he will be making the most out of his trips whenever he leaves Metro Manila. So, kaya bahala how you want to judge that. The Blue Eagles finished fourth in season 86 and were ousted by the UP Fighting Maroons in an ugly 57 46 defeat defense masterclass as they struggled to put together a co cohesive offense 
for the better part of the season. Of course, it has been since revealed that Chris Kuhn was also battling a foot injury throughout the season. And while that definitely played a part in their showing this year, one also has to wonder how the lack of a true table setter legit affected their chances at returning to the finals to defend their crown. So think about it. A core featuring Mason Amos and Jared Bahay as a centerpieces for an Ateneo team led by Coach Tab, that's really scary. Plus, if he decides to join Ateneo, he will be their first elite level point guard who has a chance to stay for a long time in the school since the days of SJ Belangel. Now, I know that Fortsky Padrigao is an elite level point guard, yes, but he really didn't stay that long. So, I'll use SJ Belangel as an example right here. That will definitely give Coach Tab a sigh of relief if Jared does decide to leave the Fighting Maroons altogether. It just makes two cents for Bahay to come home, pun intended, to Ateneo and be the face of their offense. Or, you know, maybe go to La Salle. We'll never know. I don't know anything. Kayo, ano sa tingin yung best school para kay Jared Bahay? Comment nyo lang sa baba. Again, as always guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't, uh, you know, I have a lot of videos here centered on the UAP and Philippine basketball. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, comment, like. It really helps out the channel. And um, hopefully we can grow a lot this 2024 and hope to have you guys there. See you guys next time. This is Nico. Peace.